Three years doesn't seem like it. It seems like yesterday. It has been, however, three years since Howard County Deputy Carl Kuntz was killed in the line of duty. Tonight, his widow and their four-year-old son are honoring his life and sacrifice along with dozens of people from that community. David McAnally was there tonight for a special service. <laughs> Kisses yeah, at his father's grave. I keep replaying what happened that night. Thank you for giving us this day, this night as we gather to remember our friend. All last night, I kept waking up in the middle of the night. because It's just flashbacks of what happened that night three years ago. March 20, 2016, this community lost a hero to a gunman, and it can't forget. Can you say thank you? Give her a hug? <laughs> the deputy's widow you. and almost four-year-old son meet with supporters to mark the third anniversary of a tear in the thin blue line, the murder of Howard County Sheriff's Deputy Carl Kuntz. We're thankful for the time that we got to spend with Carl. Thankful for the many memories that we have. Cassie Kuntz not only works now helping other law enforcement families touched by the violence that struck her, she also works to help her son Noah get to know his father. Noah was just seven months old when his dad died. Yeah, where's daddy at? Right there, but where is he at? The sky, yes, what happened? What happened? Boo -boo. He got a boo-boo by a bad guy? Yeah. Yeah. Do you love Daddy? Yeah. Yeah. Do you miss him? Yeah. Yeah, you do. But he's always in your heart, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. She knows Noah's tougher questions will come later. Yeah. When little Noah sees a police car go by, she says, he says, Daddy. When she asks, what do you want to be when you grow up? He says, Daddy cop, me cop. David McAdally, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Thank you, David. Deputy Coons fellow officer, Deputy Jordan Buckley, was also wounded that night, but he survived. The gunman was shot and killed.